Hello guys, so would you like to use DALI number 2 to actually create some uh, designs so you can use that for print on demand? I'm going to show you what we can do. So first of all guys, what you want to do of course is to go into the openar.com and once you are in there you want to look out for, I'm going to scroll all my way down and look out for features, look out for DALI number 2. If you guys don't know what DALI number 2 is or how the suite works, it can be help us to create realistic images and art uh, from only by a text description. So if I type, let's say that I need an astronaut um, playing basketball with a cat in space in a photorealistic style, the computer is going to give me this. So uh, of course, this one is not for realistic. I chose as a children's book illustrator. Well, let's say that I want to choose that and change that for in a watercolor style and boom. The computer, the artificial intelligence is going to be generating something like this and of course it's going to be generating more and more variations. So how can I get used to these images so I can start uh, designing my own stuff for print on demand? Well the very first thing that you need to do after you have an account here into DALI number 2, which in my case of course I just needed to sign in. So I'm going to go into continue with Google and then with that being said I'm going to choose this option and there we go. So uh, then what you want to do is to look out for a print-on-demand platform, uh, whether that would be Printful, Printify, Teespring, uh, Redbubble, whatever option you wanted to. But once you do half of that, I'm pretty sure that all of them work as the same. So um, now that you have get started, here we do have, for example, Teespring. So here in Teespring, I want to look out for an item that I can start to sell. For example, here to have comfort t-shirts uh, with more than 10 colors. So I can choose this one. And here is my t-shirt. If I go into the design, here I can drag my image. So I, can, I have like a square. So with that being said, I now have like a quick idea of what I can do here. So uh, what I want to do first of all is to go and connect with my Google account here into DALI number two. I'm going to look out for something with my account. I'm going to get into next. It's really, really easy. So uh, once I am inside my account, if you don't know what to actually create, inside DALI number two, you can actually look out for more ideas here into DALI. For example, I can go here, I'm going to close this, I'm going to look out for ideas or researched for DALI number two, and here's going to be appearing a lot of ideas that you can choose. For example, here, I'm going to sc scroll a little bit down, solving Rubik's Cube with a robot hand, um, Jukes box, I'm going to scroll a little bit down, I'm going to look out for image so now that I have like a quick idea of what I can actually do, I'm going to go back here into my actual DALI number two once I am signed it in. And I'm going to click into my account here. As you can see, I do have 22 credits. Uh, by default, you only have 30 credits when you start. And each month, you're going to get 15 credits totally for free. But if you want to buy a little bit more credits, you want to choose the option that says buy credits. And here you can buy whatever you want to. Let's say that a hundred dollars. It's almost seventy. Uh, it's it's a lot. <laughs> it's really really a lot of, of credits. Um, just one generation is equal to one credit, so you don't want to spend it all. But here, for example, here I have my white color. I want to look for brighty colors, like this, like this, like this, and like this as well. Even the red one. I think I could just leave it like that. So here I want to look out, I'm going to start generating something really, really easy. Let's say um, a sketch of a devil in a white background. I'm going to type comma. I'm going to look out for high quality like this. And you want to look out for black and white. Oh, I'm going to just leave it like that. And I'm going to hit into enter. So now with those descriptions, uh, you want to have the most detailed description so um, the open eye can be a little bit more accurate of what you're actually looking for and you don't want to be discouraged if you actually don't get what you deserved, what you actually were looking for. For example, here I do have, for example, something uh, really, really easy. I think this is something that I could make myself. So I'm going to look out for something a little bit more, um, let's say, competitive so it's cage of a devil head um, as a school like let's say, let's say school 
in a white background. Alright, so I did something a little bit more competitive. A sketch of a school head surrounded by flames and snakes. Once again, in a white background, in a great high quality. Why do I want it to look for high quality? Because if I import this into some printer, the mine is going to be, of course, make me obliged to actually have the really, really, really something with high quality. So now I'm going to click in here. And as you can see, I do have my skull head surrounded by flames and snakes. Um, this actually look not so bad. Let's look in into more variations. I have this one. I have this one and I have this one. So once you uh, find the one that you look kind of like the best, I'm going to click into the second one option, for example, here. And what I want to do is to, whether you want to leave it like that or you want to change the design or let's say like technique of your design. For example, here's a sketch. So I'm going to go for a draw or hit into his cold head surrounded by flames and snake in a back in a white background. Let's go for a black and white oil painting of a skull. So I'm going to go into generate and instead of choosing just a sketch, I'm going to look for some oil painting. Why do I look for back and um, back and white? Because what I want to do later is to delete the background so I can just focus into my main image and I can import that into my t-shirt. So let's go back and let's see what the computer this is dead to me. So as you can see, we do have four different options. I can tell you guys that so far, I think that I kind of like the latest one. And then with that being said, I can go and hit into variations. So if you go into variations, what the computer is going to be doing is to create four different variations of the image that you choose. So you can have a little bit more accurate um, this sign of what you are trying to look for. And later you can just edit that or you can just delete a few parts if you wanted to. So I'm going to hit into continue and I'm just going to be seeing what this the DALI number two has created to us. So here is my original image and here you have a lot of image as well. So I'm going to click in here. I'm going to click in here in here in here. So uh, lastly, let's say that I think that I could kind of like the first one. So, but I think I need a little bit more flames into the upper side so I can download out this and use that for my design for my t-shirt. So if I go into the edit section, I'm going to go for add generation frame. So now that you have here your generated artificial intelligence image, what I did is to remove the background using a background remover. For example, Canva, Canva Pro has, has this feature that I can remove uh, almost any kind of background. So what I just need to do is to leave this like that and hit into share, hit into download. You want to increase the size to have a little bit more of quality. Choose transparent background and hit into download. So once I do have my image already been downloaded, I want to go back here into my actual spring uh, t-shirt. Hit into save like this. Here you can go into add image and I want to look for my design, which is actually this one. And this is how it's going to be looking my my design that was generated for uh, with DALI number two. So uh, what I just need to do lastly is just to customize my image as I just uh, upload it. I can just make this a little bit more bigger or just a little bit more um, closer, whatever you are looking for. But in my case, I think that we just created something really, really interesting. So uh, with that being said, guys, this is how we can get started by designing a lot of amazing features here into DALI uh, number two and save that into your print on their mind. So with that being said, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more and really, really amazing tools to uh, use for uh, DALI number two. So thank you so much for watching the video, guys. See you in the next one.